eyelid with um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. But the first thing that I'm going to do is apply a base to my eyelid and I'm using this colour. It's number 17's Metallic Eye Pencil and it says silver but it actually comes out quite a green colour. So I'm just going to apply this as a base but you can just use any base, it's just to make the colour pop a bit more um, when you put the shadows on. So I'm just literally, quite sort of roughly, applying the base to my eyelid and just into the crease. Okay. Then, taking a lime green eyeshadow, I'm using a colour from my NYX palette, which I'll show you at the end. I'm just going to use a small eyeshadow brush and apply the lime green colour all over my lid on top of the base. quite a lot of fallout so you can always touch touch up your face afterwards so literally I'm sort of patting that lime green colour on so you can see so the lid now is just a nice lime green colour then taking my 222 brush from MAC I'm just going to take a really nice baby pink colour this is again from my NYX palette you can use any pink colour, a nice summery baby pink pastel. So I'm just applying it all over the 222 to shake it off slightly and I'm just going to apply that above the lime green so in the crease um, and a bit higher to be honest because we're putting purple in the crease later so you can just see I'm just literally applying lots of pink in the crease and above. Just leave a tiny bit there which we're just going to apply a bit of highlight. So once you've sort of dusted the pink on, I'm just using the same brush and taking a light shimmer colour and just add a touch of that on the top. Just to add a bit of highlight. And if you use the same brush you can just blend the two colours together. So you've got something that looks like that. Okay, the next step is to take a purple eyeliner. I'm using this colour from Lust, called Lust, which is from Urban Decay. It's a 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and it's a really lovely um, shimmery dark purple. And all you're going to do is just draw in the crease of your eye. So, to start in the corner and just bring that purple into the crease. Don't worry if it's a little bit messy because we're going to blend it out. So I don't know if you can see but I've just drawn in a purple line on my crease and if you want you can just bring it a tiny bit higher just like that. Once you've drawn on the purple crease colour, I'm just going to use a pencil brush and I'm going to use a lilac shade, again from my NYX palette. It's just this lovely pale lilac colour. So just apply it to the tip of the brush, mostly, and then you're just going to blend out that purple colour that you just applied using the shadow. So really just blend that purple out and it just darkens the crease. So if you can just see, it just adds a bit more definition to the eye. Um, sometimes when you apply the lilac, especially with these NYX colours, they're quite powdery. So what I do now is just um, take a little bit more of the lime green colour and just pat it onto the lid just to make sure that the lime green is nice and intense. Let's just pat some more lime green just on the lid of the eye. 
Then underneath my eye I'm going to apply Lust Again by Urban Decay. So just bring this under your eye. Sorry, I'm using two different mirrors because I'm finding it a bit awkward to make the makeup tutorials for you. I hope you can see okay. And then using a small angled brush, take more of the lilac colour and just apply that again on top of the lust that you've just applied. So just apply that colour and just blend it out. Then on your waterline, you're going to want to apply a black colour. I'm using Zero by Urban Decay. It's the same range of eyeliners, the 24-7 Glide On. Just put that on the waterline, just um, intensifies that as you can see. And then I'm just going to use my Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Eyeliner from Collection 2000, which I mentioned before, and I'm using this every day at the moment, just to um, line the upper lash lash line, nothing too thick but just to give it some definition. I always start from the outer corner, just drag it in and then you can just apply a bit more for the inside. So, just a little bit like that. And then um, obviously you need to apply some mascara to get rid of all those powdery lashes. Um, this mascara I was going to mention, I've had it for ages and I've just recently rediscovered it in my makeup drawer. It's the Lash Stiletto by Maybelline. And I don't know if it's better because it's dried out slightly but I'm really loving it at the moment. The brush um, is very thin and tapered um, but it really makes your lashes look nice and long. So I'm just going to work this into my lashes. And a little bit on the bottom. So you got something like that. And when you're applying your mascara, if you do happen to get a little bit on, on your lid, the best thing to do is just take a dry cotton bud and because you've got lots of powder on your lid, it should come off really easily. Because I've got a tiny couple of bits there, so I'm just going to literally lightly dust over it um, and then it doesn't remove too much of your eye makeup. Okay. Um, and that's the eyes basically finished. If you want, you can just take the small angled brush again and taking a lighter shade, just highlight the inner corner. Just open your eyes up. I didn't do this side, so I'll just do that. Okay. And on my lips, I'm just going to apply this colour from Maybelline. Um, it's the colour sensational range, it's called Summer Pink number 148 and again this will just add to the summer, summer look and tie in with the eyes. And for blush I'm just going to use a bit of um, this colour here from my Ben Nye palette, it's like a um, just a peachy pink kind of colour. I think um, for the summer look it's always good to use a bit of blush. So just take a little blusher brush and just dab into that colour there. Just smile and apply on the apple of the cheek and just on the upper of the cheek and slightly up there. And that's it guys, that's my spring summer makeup tutorial. Um, I really hope that you could sort of see what I'm doing, I was doing, but I'll take some pictures at the end for you, because I know my um, camera setup isn't really great at the moment, so I'm really sorry about that. But um, yeah, I hope you liked it, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!